Hey Sam, just looking at you in Degree Works. Um, looks like you have all your gen eds done, which is great. Um, so this is no longer a course. So typically we have you take two art histories, which you already have. So one of those art histories will sub into this area here. Um, or sometimes we have you take an extra painting class. It looks like you took painting one. Obviously Joel doesn't offer classes online, so you couldn't take watercolor this semester. Um, I'm also, we are also offering a 3D printing course, but you can't take that because it's not online. Um, but luckily you did take two art history, so that should sub into um, here for an extra three credits under the major. Um, this is no longer, this is not a thing. This shouldn't even be in here. Um, you need to take this class this spring for sure. This one is an option if you want to take 18 credits. Um, Graph Design 3 is the ending class. It's the portfolio building class. So you're going to have to take that next spring, I believe. So I'm guessing next fall will be pretty heavy as well with the business courses to finish up your minor. Um, so you're going to be pretty busy with business courses because you have most of the graphic design um, major classes done. You just have these three classes here to finish. Um, and your general education core is totally done. So really it's just knocking these classes out mostly. Um, and so you know, your end semester might be look like Illustration 2 next spring and Graphic Design 3, plus like, you know, any other marketing classes that you have left. Or, you know, if you're done with those by the end of fall next year, you might just have to kind of fill it in if you want to be full time with just kind of filler classes um, that are online courses that maybe you're interested in for the last spring semester or so. Um, so yeah, hopefully, you know, just make sure that you pass all your classes, um, obviously, because you probably need all of them to graduate. Um, so I have an email here for you. Um, these are the courses for spring. I actually did email Lanny and he gave me um, all of these four business courses that you could take online right now. I'm guessing some of these might not be online next semester, so maybe it's important, I'm guessing, to take all four of these because I bet next semester some of these will be in person and they won't be available for you to take online. So it's kind of a lot of um, marketing courses, but I think it's necessary if you want to do everything online to get those these four classes done. And so Electronic Design 1 is not technically an online course, much like the other ones you've taken from me, except for the Art History class, I guess, is an online course. But um, so these these two are kind of hybrids, much like the Graphic Design 2 course that you're taking with me. Um, and it should work out just fine if you want to take both of them online as a hybrid online course. Um, but if you don't want to take 18 credits, which is what this list is here, then I would suggest dropping Illustration 2 and doing that next spring. Um, and it's also possible potentially to do maybe an independent study, but I don't want to put that out there too much because I don't think, I don't think you'll learn as much, especially being online with an independent study as you would if you just took this Illustration 2 course with me in the spring of, I believe, 2023. Um, that would be next spring. So um, you can always drop this one if you're only wanting to take 15 credits because total all everyone in this list is um, 18 credits. But if you're feeling like you have a lot of time or you have enough time to do all of these, then you could knock all of these out. But that would mean that next spring you'd have a, a fairly light load um, with just graphic design three to take from me, which is the portfolio building course where you have to kind of find clients to work with, work with or work for to create projects. So, um, and also you have to like kind of, you have to make, you have to refine your portfolio website that you made in electronic design two as well. So like just really getting that portfolio website really refined. And so that was one thing too. I don't think I got an email for from you about the, um, about your Squarespace portfolio um, website. So hopefully you can get that to me soon because I am going to be, I was going to grade it last night, but I didn't. It's Wednesday now today. So, um, I mean, it's looking like you might get a zero for that grade if you don't get that turned into me um, before probably, I guess I could extend it to Friday this week, which would be um, November 12th, I believe. So really I need you to get me that URL sent to me 
Um, and I'll send you an email or like a message reminding you on that because yeah, there's just not a ton of um, grades that I'm collecting for electronic design too. So it's really going to make a difference if you don't get that into me um, soon. It's going to kind of, you know, there's no way to make that up really. It's, it's a check in grade. So anyway, so um, I'll give you your advisor pin here. Um, I don't have it entered yet, but I will get it that off the spreadsheet that I have and enter it in here. And so to sign up for courses, um, you just need to go to Safari or, you know, a browser, go to msunorthern.edu, um, go to current students, my info. Oh, I hate it when it does that. And then log in using your net ID. Yours is going to look a little bit different than mine because I'm an employee and a faculty member, but I think you would go under student services and then registration and then add drop classes, enter in spring semester 2022, submit that. And, you know, they're going to ask you if you want health insurance through the school. A lot of students end up waiving that. Or if you actually get your health insurance through the school, you would elect that. You might have to waive that twice. And then you have to enter in your advisor pin number or your advisor number that I give you in this email, which will be located um, right here basically right here and you'll have to enter that in and then it'll be there'll be like little areas um, that you enter in the CRN numbers for the classes that you're taking and make sure you get these in there correctly um, just copy paste command C on your keyboard command V as in Victor to paste um, into the, your browser window within my info to um, to get signed up for these classes and obviously if you don't want to take 18 credits then don't enter in the CRN number for um, illustration two. And that's why I put it on the end of the list so that you can kind of skip over that one if you don't want to take 18 credits. If you do, you know, if you foresee yourself being busier next year, maybe, maybe you should take it now. If you foresee yourself being less busy next year, take it next year. You know, kind of think about where you're going to be at. A lot of times when you're in your senior year or two, you start to get senioritis pretty bad. So keeping things as light as possible during your senior year usually is not a bad idea. Um, but I also don't want you to sign up for so many things that you end up getting overwhelmed, getting behind in the spring semester of this year and 18 credits might do that to you, or maybe you'll be able to handle it. It's kind of up to you. Use your own discretion, what you think you'll be able to handle next semester and what your schedule is looking like next semester, um, starting in January, going through to um, April, I believe the end of April. So yeah, anyway, um, I hope you're doing well. Um, try to get me the URL for your Squarespace, WordPress, or Squarespace website, portfolio website um, soon, hopefully before Friday, and I will grade those. Um, I'm probably gonna grade them now and put a zero there, but if you can get it that to me before Friday, I will give you that extension. Anyway, I'm trying to keep this video as short and sweet as I possibly can, so we'll talk to you soon. Let me know if you need anything. Um, let me know if you have any questions on anything. I hope your book jacket's going well as well. I haven't really, I saw your thumbnails, but I haven't seen um, your piece yet. I did create a video that went over how to set up the template in InDesign. And you know, you need to pick your favorite book or a book that you like, um, and then create a jacket for that book. And the theme needs to tie into the imagery that you choose and um, you know, that kind of thing. And there's some requirements like, you know, there's there's the title, the author's name, obviously um, the spine design needs to have the title author name. Um, there needs to be a review somewhere on there, an artist's, um, the artist's bio or information on the artist, or not the artist, but the author. Um, there's some other things in there too that are requirements. So don't forget to look over the project worksheet to make sure that you're meeting all the requirements for the project. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Um, make sure to export out your PDF file um, with the crops and bleeds included on that. And then also package your file um, with that PDF in there um, that you created with the bleeds and the crop marks and zip that up and submit that for a grade by next Monday, I believe. So um, before 11.30 p.m. So you still have time to get that done, but if you haven't started it, I would suggest starting that like today or tomorrow and working on it diligently. You, you know, the things that you've turned in in the past have been really, I really enjoyed your work and I hope um, with the book project that it's going well for you. Okay, I'll talk to you later.